Hi guys and welcome back to another Declutter Monday video. Today we are going to be doing my master bathroom and product declutter. I posted a vote on Instagram and I asked you guys which category you'd like to see next and I gave four examples of things that I have not decluttered yet and this one was the overwhelming winner so we are going to do it today. So giving you a little before, this is Alex's sink over here and we're not going to declutter it not only because it's not my sink, but also he keeps it very minimal. He only has products in one drawer. Then we have the shower, the bathtub area, which we're not actually going to declutter anything from around the tub or in the shower because those are all current products. And then we get to my sink and this is the area we're going to be tackling. We're gonna do all of the cabinets and drawers go through all of my products along with everything that was already in here. I also pulled in any products that I had around the house, mostly in my beauty filming room. So all of my skincare, hair care, body products are all in here. I'm gonna set my camera up on a tripod and we're just gonna start going through these drawers and cabinets. The first drawer has nail stuff and band-aids and that's pretty much it. I do use a lot of the stuff that's in here regularly so I'm gonna keep a lot of this but like for instance, this is the only Emery board I use. It's a crystal one from Amazon. So I'm going to actually get rid of these three. I do not need to keep extras. And then this is the buffer that I use the most often. Um, this one doesn't work as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one on. And this one, this one's pretty nice. And it's actually very different from this one, which I'm gonna keep. So I'll keep those and I'll get rid of these. Also, this Emery board, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. The rest of what's in here is just nail clippers, nail oil, and a couple of my most used polishes and top coats. So this is the drawer that I go into the most often when I'm gonna do my nails. I do have nail polishes also in a different area, but this is definitely my most used little stash. Then I have a few Band-Aids. I have a pair of scissors in case I need it. I have some nail glue, and I have a few packs of these Kiss press-on nails, and I actually, um, used this one kind of recently and they were too long for me. I really didn't like them and so I probably will not be using them again. And I also have the squared off version but it's the same length. I haven't used the squared off version yet but I think I'm just gonna get rid of both of them. I just didn't really like it. But I am gonna keep the nail glue just in case I get a different type of nail at some point that I wanna try. Then we have this little marble soap dish that I used to keep my Beauty Blender solid cleanser on. I don't really use any bar soaps currently. I used to use a lot of like Lush bar soaps and so I always had one of these. I don't actually use this so I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping that but I'm definitely gonna move it out of this drawer. I have some essential oils, which I'm gonna move downstairs because I do have an essential oil diffuser down there. And then we have some like um, jewelry cleansing little drops. We have a bracelet and we have a couple of these little like stackable dishes. I don't know why these are in here, but I'm just gonna leave that for now because I do wanna keep them. So that is that drawer, yes. Underneath that is a cabinet and inside I just have a bin that has some hair stuff inside of it. This was like when I decided I was going to dye my own hair at home. Uh, spoiler alert, it did not turn out very well and I will not be doing it again. So I have some like, like a little cup thing to like dye my own roots. Um, these are hair extensions, I'm gonna be keeping those. Those are like totally separate. And then I have my like developers and stuff when I like thought I was gonna color my hair at home. Yeah, no, that did not work out. But do I do actually trim my hair at home sometimes. So I do have these scissors and also this pair of scissors and I am going to be keeping those. I have a pair of gloves for again when I was doing that. Um, little like toner. I am going to get rid of the developer, the toner, I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to color my own hair again. Didn't really like the results. It wasn't terrible, it's just not something I would do again. I'm also going to get rid of this because again, probably won't ever use that again. These little things I'm gonna take down to the kitchen because I pulled that from there. Yeah, and I'm gonna get rid of this. And then this is just a first aid kit. I am going to be keeping that. And I had like a little back patch in there too. So I'm gonna keep the first aid things, the scissors, the hair extensions, 
This is Bubba right here getting in the cabinet and then I'm gonna get rid of all of the hair dye stuff. The next drawer over has a lot of hair accessories. This is another drawer that I go into a lot. So I know that I have an excessive amount of hair ties but I seem to lose them a lot so I'm not going to get rid of any of those because I do use them. I have some of these headbands that just keep your hair out of your face when you're washing it. I have a couple of clips. I have some bobby pins here. I have this little like cat thing that you can put your hair back when you're washing your face. I have a hair mask. I used another one of the same type in an Instagram beauty video, if you follow me on Instagram, and then just another pack of hair ties. Again, a lot of hair ties, but I'm not gonna repurchase anymore, but I don't really feel the need to get rid of those. I have a lint roller, I have a couple of combs, a teasing brush, some more bobby pins, hair ties, and a little bun donut. So I'm gonna be keeping everything in here. This really is a drawer that I go into all the time and I use, so I don't think I should get rid of anything here. The next drawer has all of my hair tools, and I've actually done a huge downsize of my hair tool collection. Like in the past few years, I just had so many at one point, and I really tend to stick with the same things. So I have my Dyson hair dryer, which is my absolute favorite. I'm definitely gonna be keeping that. This Hot Tools one, I actually don't like, and the only reason is, is that I think I have like a loose clip. It just, my hair slides right out of it. So I'm going to get rid of this. I never use it. And I feel like I would like that exact curling iron, just not that one. Like I got like a lemon or something, I don't know. This is my little like um, wet brush type thing, gonna keep that. This goes with my Dyson, gonna keep that. The sleep styler, you guys. This is the only thing that I've ever purchased after watching Shark Tank. And I have watched every episode of Shark Tank. It's one of my favorite shows. I actually purchased this after seeing it on Shark Tank and I've only tried it once. I've only given it like a real true go once and I really was not impressed. I think I'm gonna keep it and give it another try because man, I really was like inspired to buy this right away. So I'm not gonna quite let go of it yet but it's on my radar of things that I might get rid of. My PhD flat iron, definitely going to be keeping. My diffuser, I'm gonna keep that. I am going to keep this set from Numi that has um, different size barrels. I am going to keep this. Another little like Dyson accessory. And then I have two Conair curling irons. These have just been my go-to for like ever. I mean, if you guys saw my original How to Curl Your Hair video from 10 years ago, when I was in my college house, I was using these and I still use them. They're probably actually the exact same ones too. So I have two different sizes. I'm going to keep them. I just love these. I use them, they're cheap. You can go to Target or Walmart and get those for like not any money and they last forever. Like I just love them. I put everything back. I'm only giving away that one Hot Tools curling iron, but I still feel like this is a pretty minimal drawer for me. In the past, I've had a lot more Hot Tools, so I'm very happy with this. And then this last drawer just mostly has backup products. So I have some backup shaving creams, some toothbrushes, some cotton rounds some little like floss picks, one um, face sheet mask that I can take with me if I travel somewhere, some like little um, Colgate wisps, again like a travel thing. This is like a travel Q-tip container. Um, yeah, and like more toothbrush heads and an extra beauty blender. So this is all stuff I'm gonna keep. Um, again, not a ton of stuff, but it's all stuff that I feel like I will use. This next drawer is a hodgepodge of a lot of different things. I have my electronic toothbrush holder, Q-tips. This box has just a lot of different stuff in it. We can probably go through here. I have a couple of razors some um, eyelash, like when I have eyelash extensions, I like to comb them out with these little things. Um, my little charger for my toothbrush, some floss, some razor blades. Actually, I don't think anything in here can go. I think everything I use in there. And then we have some creams that I use, so I wanna keep all three of those. I have a wide tooth comb for travel. This actually goes with those little jewelry drops. It's a jewelry cleaner, so I, I can actually put that in the other drawer with the little drops. And then I have my brush guards that I use when I wash and dry my makeup brushes. So again, everything in here can stay. 
So far I haven't done a great job with this declutter. Hopefully we will have more stuff we can get rid of. This drawer here is full of products. And I have products other places as well. I have it underneath my sink. I have that bin I showed you in the very beginning. And I have all of these here, which are my like most used products. And then I also have this medicine cabinet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line everything up on my sink counter and I'm gonna do like categories. I think that that will be the easiest way for me to see everything and really make those decisions. I'm starting with hair and I figured before I got into the products that are potentially gonna be decluttered, I would show you my favorite products just so you know what I'm actually using and no, I am not sponsored by Unite. It just so happens that the hairstylist I go to is a Unite salon and the one I went to before her also was so I've just gotten really used to the products and I really like them so I have the Blonda shampoo and conditioner those are actually backups and I just used up my last bottles and threw them out but I'm using their smoothing line and I want to use those up before opening these we have the texturizing dry spray the laser straight smooth and shine seven seconds condition the boing curl leave-in the oil and then this isn't unite but I also really really love the Olaplex and so I have one I'm using and I have a backup one as well so those are like my everyday products and then everything else I'm going to show you are products that I either am not currently using or I don't use on a daily basis. I have all the rest of my hair products lined up right here. I'm just going to give you a quick pan of all of them and then we're going to go through them. So I have them organized like loosely by type. So these are all um, hairsprays right here. These like six or seven. Obviously, I don't need seven hairspray. I don't even use hairspray every day. So I'm going to be keeping the L'Oreal Elnet hairspray and one of the Tresemme hairsprays. I do love Tresemme hairspray. And I do tend to go for number four, which is this one with the green label. But I feel like I remember one of these being broken. So yeah, <laughs> that one was. So I'm gonna actually throw that away. The um, top of it like leaks, so I'm gonna try this one too before deciding to keep it. Oh no, that one actually doesn't work either. The top is broken, so I'm gonna get rid of those. There's no point in keeping ones with like weird tops that are broken. Um, the Sebastian Reshaper, I really liked this. I went through a couple of these. I don't think I'm gonna use this, so I think I'm going to pass that on as well as all of the Kerastase hairsprays here. I really love Kerastase. Maybe I'll keep one of them and just try it. I just don't find that I use these really. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of the medium hold because I tend to go for strong or extra strong. So this one's strong, this one's extra strong. I'm just gonna quickly test the little sprouts. Oh, that comes out so nice, especially compared to the broken ones. Um, you know what, I'm gonna keep these two and I'm gonna get rid of these two over here. And I'm also gonna be keeping that. Do I need three? No, I don't need three. I don't need to move three hairsprays across the country to Nashville. Like I just don't need to. I'm just gonna keep the L'Oreal Elnet. That's my favorite one. If I'm gonna use a hairspray, it's probably gonna be this one. I don't need to keep the other ones. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let them go. They're gonna go, goodbye. So keeping this one. Moving on to dry shampoos. I have two. I have the Batiste and the Rockaholic Dirty Secret. I love Rockaholic Dirty Secret. I have used up several bottles of this and this is actually an empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'm gonna throw it away. It is empty. So I only have one dry shampoo right now, which is fine. I do not need more than one. So moving on to like creams and heat protectants. Let's do those next. The S Factor Serious Conditioner. This is a repurchase. I have used up a couple of these. I used to use the entire S Factor line and I loved it. I'm currently using a deep conditioner that has been my go-to for years. It's the macadamia oil. I love it so much. So I'm gonna pass this on. I, I do really like this product, but I just think someone else would enjoy it more than me at this point in my life. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm also going to let the Moroccan oil styling cream go. And this is something I'm having a little bit of trouble letting go of because I kind of wanna use it more. I did use this a good amount, um, but I just feel, I feel like it would, it's gonna be hard to travel with because it's open and it's a pump and like, it's just gonna leak. I'm just gonna pass it on to someone. There's no point in trying to take that and like 
letting it be difficult, you know? And I do think that I'm making decisions a little bit differently because I'm prepping for an upcoming move across the country versus if I was just decluttering in my house and I was gonna stay in my house, but it's giving me a reason to be more strict with myself, which is a good thing. So I think that these decisions should have been made regardless of whether I was moving. Anyway, okay, so we have the macadamia blow dry lotion. I am going to keep this. It does match the deep conditioner I'm using and I really like this blow dry lotion. So I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to be getting rid of this cream right here. I used this, I gave it a try. I really did not like it. It's another leave-in conditioner that has some heat protectant in it and I just did not like it very much. So I'm gonna let that go. And I haven't tried this deep conditioner that goes with it, but it's part of the same line and I just feel like I'm just gonna let it go because it does match that other product. I'm just gonna give them away together. I only use that first product one time and it just wasn't my favorite. The It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In for Blondes, I'm gonna let this go. Um, I do really like It's a Tin, but I, the one that's for blondes has like a purple tone to it, which is really cool because I do use purple shampoo and conditioner. I just didn't feel like it worked as well as the original It's a Tin, so it is cool that it has that purpleness to it, but it's just not my favorite, so I'm gonna let it go. The Got to Be um, Guardian Angel Heat Protectant. This stuff is so good, but guys, I never use it. I'm so bad about heat protectant. Like, I feel like some of the products I use have heat protectant built in, like some of the creams that I use. I hope so. I actually should look into that because I'm not totally sure that the Unite products have it built in, but I just never go this extra step. Oh, you know what? I don't need to keep this because the blow dry lotion has heat protectant built in. All right, I have a few sea salt sprays. I have one, two, three, four here. And okay, let's see. I do not think that I need to keep all four. So the mermaid sea salt hairspray here came in a pop sugar box. I've never tried it. The John Masters, I really, really like. It's sea salt and lavender. And that's actually my second or third one that I've purchased. Oh, sorry, you guys were a little bit out of frame. Um, I don't think, I feel like I would want to try the other ones over using this. I don't know, maybe I'm just bored with it because I've gone through a few of them. It is a really good sea salt spray, so I'm not sure. The Josie Moran one I really like, but it's a glass bottle with this little like spigot. I feel like this would be very hard to move with. So I think I'm gonna let that one go. I mean, it makes me sad because I really like liked that product. I was excited to get it, but yeah, and then the Philip B. Maui Waui, I was really excited to try. I haven't actually tried that yet. I feel like I do want to try that. I think I'm going to keep these two, and they also seem like they'd be the easiest to pack and, like, not leak. So I'm going to keep these, and I'm going to get rid of the other two. I'm kind of torn on this one because I really liked it in the past, but I do feel like I would use these ones over it purely because I haven't tried them, and I do like trying new products. So I'm going to let that go. Wow, that's actually really hard. I kind of want to keep that. I'm having like getting rid of remorse already. Okay, so the Orbe uh, heat styling spray, I am going to keep this and try this. Orbe is one of my favorite hair brands and so I want to try this. I want to give this an actual go. So I'm going to keep that. And then we have two more products. We have the Aveda Volumizing Tonic and the Macadamia Oil, oil Spray and Oh, both of these products I really like. I am going to get rid of the Aveda Volumizing Tonic. Um, I just don't use it enough to justify keeping it. But the Macadamia Oil Spray, I kind of want to keep this. I have the rest of the line. I have the blow dry lotion I'm keeping. I use the mask every single time I wash my hair. I'm going to keep this. I also have two sets of hot rollers that are still in their boxes. Oh yeah, I have this one from Conair and I have this one from Remington. And the reason that I've kept these all these years, you guys, I've had this probably since my first LA apartment. So I have moved these two boxes of curlers four times and I have never opened them. And I keep thinking to myself, every time I do declutters, I'm like, I need to keep these because I don't want to buy them, but they're like one of those things that I just want to have because when I was in middle school and high school, I hot rolled my hair every single day, all of middle school and high school. Like, I cannot believe I did that, but I did. I got up early in the morning and I hot rolled my hair and I thought it looked Southern fabulous, right? Tons of volume. 
The thing is though, I just, I would use a curling iron now. I didn't know how to use a curling iron back then. So I've like kept, I've held on to these and I think it's through like nostalgia more than anything else. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna move them for the fifth time. They're gonna go, they're both gonna go. At first I was like, I can keep one and let one go. No, they both need to go. I have not used them. I've moved them four times. This is the definition of ridiculous. They need to go. This is my hair keep pile in addition to the stuff that I use regularly over there in the corner. And then this is my giveaway pile. So definitely a lot more giveaway than keep. I'm pretty proud of that. All of those hair products and the tools. Next, I have a couple of random categories. First of all, I have my fake tan products, which the only things I have right now are these four loving tan products. I purchased these recently and I have not actually used them yet. I haven't actually fake tanned in a really long time because it's not good to do when you're pregnant and then I was breastfeeding for a long time and I'm not anymore and so maybe this summer I will fake tan. So I do wanna keep these products. I also have this box here which are the gloves that you can put on to protect your hands when you're fake tanning so those go together. And I also have a selection of mitts that go with fake tanning. So I have two from Loving Tan that I got with the set that I'm going to keep. I also have this one, which I purchased on Amazon. It had a really amazing reviews. It is just supposed to be really good. I want to give it a try, so I'm gonna keep that. And then I also have two from Saint Tropez that I just never use. I'm gonna keep these. I feel like these are things that are kind of annoying to have to buy. They're nice to have, but they're not something that I would necessarily buy. So I, I wanna keep them just so I have them. And then I just have one loose loving mitt or loving tan mitt. I don't know why um, that's loose because I don't think I've tried these, but anyway, I'm gonna keep all of those. And then I have nail polish remover. I have one lone shaving cream that I'm going to pass on because I do have those other shaving creams in my drawer and I would use those over this one. So I'm just gonna pass this one on. I am going to be keeping my water flosser because that is amazing. You guys, I was just looking at these nail polish removers and they're expired. Does nail polish remover expire? But like the one thing I have to say is I legitimately have thought that this nail polish remover like doesn't work as well as it used to, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I am gonna get rid of these, um, this one too, but these ones I really, really like. I think I got these from Amazon and I think they work better than the other one anyway. And I have two containers of it, so I don't need to keep the other one anyway. For some reason, I'm like, I've used both of these. I don't really know why I have two that are open, but I'm gonna keep them. Next category we're doing is going to be body products. So these are lotions, sprays, and body washes that are not currently being used, or at least they're not in the shower or around the bathtub. So starting with my shower gels, I only actually have three that are not currently in use in the shower or the bath. I have this one from Soap and Glory, which they have my little picture on it. So I haven't actually used it because I think it's cool that they like personalized this for me. There's actually a body cream over here that is also personalized to me that I just think is really, really cool. And I don't know, I mean, let me smell this. I shouldn't just keep it because my face is on it. Like that's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm just gonna, I mean, oh, this is like one of those weird, weird things that I wanna not use and just like look at, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I am gonna be keeping that. I'm also going to be keeping Love Addict by Victoria's Secret. Oh yes, this smells so good. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna give this a sniff. I do have the matching um, body lotion. Oh, it actually has a seal on it. So I think these came in a pop sugar box, if I'm remembering correctly. Sugar, lemon, bath and shower gel, and body lotion. I feel like that would be really nice in a guest bathroom shower. I like that it's a matching set. I think it's really pretty, and I like that they're sealed. Let me make sure that this one is sealed as well. It should be, yeah. So I'm gonna keep these and I'm actually gonna put them in our guest bathroom in our new house because I think that's just nice and that's one less thing that I have to buy. The next thing is the Soap and Glory Sun Kissed Tent Body Lotion. I do love these wash off sun tents. Um, this one smells really good too. I think I'm gonna keep this. This is 
the only thing of this kind that I have, so I'm gonna keep that. Not doing very good so far. I haven't gotten rid of anything. Next, we have body lotions and body butters. And these I definitely can par down a little bit because I just don't use all of these. So this one, Sheer Cotton and Lemonade from Bath & Body Works. Let me give this a smell. Oh man, that smells so good. This smells so freaking good. I know this was a gift. It's not one that I picked up on my own. It smells really good. I don't really want to get rid of that. But am I going to use it over my other ones? I just don't know. I might, I might keep that. Uh, fresh picked peach. You guys know how I am about peach smelling things. It's like my favorite scent. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm already struggling. Like, what the heck? Why am I struggling so much? Let's see. I am going to get rid of this, the Body Shop Fuji Green Tea Body Lotion. Um, I, this came in a set, so it came with the spray, the lotion, the butter, and a body wash, and I've already used up the body wash completely, so the set is, like, not really together. I was using the body wash and the body butter, which is down here, so I'm gonna let the lotion and the, um, spray go, and I might keep the body butter, but to be honest, I have a lot of other body lotion type things. The Laura Mercier Creme Brulee is my favorite, so I'm going to keep that one, and I might let all these other ones go. I mean, this is the one that says my freaking name on it. Let me smell it. It smells good. This I actually have used some of. Uh, I might keep that with the set and use those together, and then Pure Seduction. I'm actually going to let this go. This is a little bit older, and I think I used a good amount of it up. And I was a pure seduction obsessed person. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, the smell. I, this is like one of my favorite scents in the entire world. I love it, but I just don't use the body butter. I just don't use it anymore. And I used a good amount of it up, so I feel comfortable throwing that away. I don't feel like I need to find a home for that. So the Fuji Green Tea Body Butter, I also have used a good amount of. Let me give this a smell. I might want to keep this. Oh, it smells so good. It's so different, too, from Pure Seduction. Like, they're not even in the same... Oh, it smells good. But you know what? I'm going to let this go because I did use up all the gel, and I'm keeping other ones. I'm going to let that go with the lotion and the spray. Probably the same person will want it. We have three more lotions here, and these three were the ones that I said I was going to keep earlier in the drawer, but I... No, maybe I do still want to keep all of these. Body cream, let me smell it. Oh, this smells really good. You know what? My mom would really like this because it has a rose in it and she is obsessed with rose. So I'm actually going to give that to my mom. This is actually a shower gel. It's not a um, lotion and it's white tea and honeysuckle. Honey is another one of my favorite scents. I don't know though. You know, it kind of smells a little baby powdery. I don't think that I would use that. It's beautiful, but I don't need to keep it just because it's beautiful. I think I'm going to let this go. And I'm going to keep that one and give it to mom. And then this is a hand butter and I'm going to keep that. Moving on to body sprays. I might get rid of all of these. I just don't think that I would use it over using a perfume at this point. I used to love these when I would travel. Like during the summer when I was at the pool or the beach. It's just like so light and so fresh. But I just don't think that I would use these over perfume at this point. I think I'm going to let them go. And then this Pure Seduction perfume, I might keep this. I freaking love this smell so much. Let me smell it. But I don't know. Ugh, it smells really good. I don't know if I would use this over other perfumes in my collection. I feel like I'm going to do what? I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to get rid of these four. So I feel okay with that. Keeping that, I'm going to put it in with my perfumes. And I'm going to get rid of all four of those. I also found a lone hair product in with my body products. So I am going to pass this on. It goes with that same line of things that I got rid of. So I'm going to get rid of this as well. For body products, this is my Keep Pile. Which I do not think is totally excessive. I am happy with that. And then this is my giveaway pile right here. I did decide to get rid of both of these Bath & Body Works lotions. I just think that I'm keeping other ones that I would use 
more than those, so I'm gonna let those go. Skincare is definitely my biggest category, so instead of going through every single thing, I'm just going to show you the items that I am getting rid of just because I do have a fairly large collection of skincare, and a lot of it I am keeping because I love my skincare so much. So, I'm gonna show you what I'm going to be getting rid of. First of all, we have the Estee Lauder Firm and Fill Eye Creams, and these are actually used up, so I'm going to be tossing the containers. Another item that I used up is the Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic. I used a couple of bottles of this. I really, really like it, and this one is used up, so it's going in the trash. Another item that I used up is the Alpha H Liquid Gold, and I already have another container of this, so this one's an empty, gonna toss it out. Another item that I used up is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask. I also have a little size of the cleanser, which I also used up. Both of those are going in the trash. This item I'm also throwing away because it has dried out. I did use this twice, so there's not a ton left, but it has dried out, so I'm gonna toss that. The rest of these items I'm going to be giving away. So we have the MAC Mineralized, the Reset and Revive Charcoal Mask, the Charcoal Spray, and a Fix Plus. I actually meant to pull the Fix Plus. I am going to be keeping this, but I am going to be passing on the Charcoal Spray and the Charcoal Mask. I'm also going to be passing on this mini Queen of Hungry Mist. I have the full size of this, so I'm going to pass on this little version. This cleanser right here is not mine. I believe it might be Blair's. She might have left it here. So I'm going to ask her if she wants it. If not, I'm going to pass that on to someone else. The Endless Glove Hand Cream I'm going to pass on. And then this little um, Tiger Grass Cream. I think this came in one of my boxes. I'm going to pass it on. And then I have a little bit of this Kerastase oil, which I love, but I'm going to pass it on. I'm keeping other hair oils. And even though this is a really good one, I'm just going to let it go. And then I have two of the Hydrolurons, which I really, really like. I used to use this a lot, but I just don't use it anymore. It's a really good product. I just have other ones that I'm using and trying. So I'm going to pass these on. In total, I'm getting rid of nine more products from this category. The only thing left in the drawer are makeup removing wipes, and I'm okay with that. I do not feel the need to fill this drawer with anything else. So I'm just going to leave that be. And the very last drawer are all of my travel things. This is where I put all of my travel sized items as well as any sample items of products that I like that I feel like I could use on a trip. I definitely can par this down. I think it's gotten a little bit overwhelming. I don't even know what's in here. I haven't traveled in a while, so I actually haven't used anything in this drawer in a while. So I feel like we can really go through this and organize it and make sure that I actually want to use these on future trips. I didn't end up removing a ton from this drawer, only a handful of items, because once I got in and really started looking at what I had, these are all items that I do use and would like to have in a smaller size for when I do travel. So all I did was organize it. I put my travel hair dryer and straightening iron in the bin, along with some travel razors, some travel hair products, and then I have some travel packs of um, makeup removing wipes, some like little Q-tips, fashion tape, stuff like that, a lint roller, some of my travel deep conditioning packets since it comes in a big jar and I don't like to be without that even when I travel so I take the little packets and then down here in the front I just have some travel skincare. So overall it looks like a lot but it is all items that I would like to have. So I'm going to keep all of those items. These seven items right here in the front are the things that I removed from the drawer that I am going to be passing on. And then this last drawer is completely empty and this cabinet here just has a few things in it. The top bin just has shower caps and backup loofahs and my little like clothing steamer for when I travel. And then the bin on the bottom just has a bunch of Ziploc bags. When I travel, I do tend to compartmentalize a lot in Ziploc bags, but I do reuse them. So this is a bin of used, but still good Ziploc bags that I continue to reuse when I travel. And I do have skincare in this bin that I popped into this drawer. This is all like facial stuff that I'm keeping. So I didn't show that on camera because I didn't declutter this section on camera, but keeping all those. Here is the after. You guys have already seen the after of all the cabinets and drawers, but just an overview. We have all of these items that I'm keeping. We have my little beauty cabinet that I've cleared out some products from. 
We have this bin, which are my hair and body items that I'm keeping. We have all of these items that I am passing on. So a good number, I would say. You guys, while I was packing up all the items that I am giving away, I came back across this and I had remorse for getting rid of it. So I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna use it. I really liked this product, but everything else I said was going is going. Putting this in my little keep bin. All right, so there it is. All the stuff that I'm donating, a big old bin full. Feeling good about it. So that's everything, another successful declutter video. I hope you guys are still loving this series and I will see you guys next Monday with my next declutter video. Goodbye.